Hey everybody, it's Alexander A. Manzoni and I'm going to be doing some poetry. This is uh, number 131 out of the Bipolar Guide to Poetry. That's poetry with a period. 6-6-2017. Wake up at 5. Do the dishes. And make the coffee. Sit down. And start writing poetry. I'm smoking jazz cigarettes by eight. Remember the days long past. These are the days especially to remember. For they were the days that were the most difficult to live through. Remember October of 2014. Remember September when they published your poems finally. Remember how that didn't seem to mean a goddamn thing back then in your perpetual suicidal haze. Repent, repent, and remember. Remember and never forget. Remember the days. Do I? Do you? You don't? Well, I do. Remember the tiled travails and the persistent dragging of long blistered feet, long blistered homeless feet through the streets of Spokane, across the bridges to the north side and back again. Remember the day at the downtown Spokane library when you printed out that square paper with big bold letters that said poetry. Don't forget what you felt when you spent that last pile of nickels and dimes to complete the printing. I pinned the paper to my chest and took to the streets on a mission. I'm selling poetry. Would you like to buy a poem? People thought it was funny. Some were quite offended. More so than if I simply tried to panhandle them. But I was too proud to hold out in my hand, hold out my hand and beg, feeling that I'd rather die than lose my last lingering thread of self-respect. It was not long that day before I gave up on the selling of words on the street. Instead, I kept them myself and kept the printed paper too and hung it on my wall. About three years later, the poetry has still stayed with me. And I put the printed paper up on the wall of that first apartment in this city. I put it there to remind me of everything, all of the things that brought me here and protected me up to this point. <sighs> praise, praise that I did not find myself stabbed and left for dead in my sleep. Laid out on a length of corrugated cardboard, rolled up in coats and dirty blankets under the bridge by the UGM mission. I'd lay out there and watch the happy drinkers across the river at the No Library. I remember well how they laughed and drank and made merry around the blazing black wrought iron charcoal brazier. While well, I sat back there, a river width away, amongst the filth and myriad mountains of Alprazo lamb sorrows, drinking earthquake mall liquor, fortified tall boys with a jumpsuited wanderer from Alabama caught in the infernal grip of methamphetamine psychosis. He sat out there for a number of nights. We sat out there for a number of nights, both together languishing in a thickening stew of abject depression and the misery only those so lost can ever fully know to the core. One day he left and he never came back. My friend, gone, like so many before him, and so many afterwards. 
Never forget these days. Never forget these days. These are the days that made me. These are the days that sustained my appetite for a literary feast, the likes of which the world has not yet seen and experienced. And these are the days of now, the days of the literary feast, the celebration of the mind and the artist inside and all, all of which follow suit. These days are coming. They are coming fastest of all. Don't blink or you might miss it. Thank <laughs> you.